Western Conference Podcast live on the Welcome to Jam Rock Cruise. Me and my brother Mustafa, and we got a special guest in the building because Very we got special. Grammy nominated Mr. Kabaka Pyramid. How you doing, brother? Yo, I'm good. I'm on a cruise. Yes, living life, loving it, and setting the tone. By the way, by just killing the stage early off in the in the cruise. I uh, give thanks. It was a nice show, nice performance. Yeah, yeah well received. Yeah, good vibes. Yeah, always good on the cruise. So, from a day I have to give thanks. You know. Always, always. But see, but now you have this new title now, Grammy nominated. How does mm -hmm. that feel? You got to tell us about that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's yo, know, it's a lot of years. You yeah, know what I mean, it's a lot of years of putting work in this thing, and it's just a great feeling to get that recognition. And yeah. that, you know what I mean, like it, and it, it means so much to so many people. Absolutely, you know. And some and, it doesn't. I mean, you know, yeah. some for artists that that's like their clarification. Yeah, but not yeah. not all artists needs that. You know, whole whole clarification for yeah, that no, as well. I mean, you don't know. It doesn't change who I am. It doesn't yeah. change the music, but it's it's something nice for the resume. Of course, yeah. yeah. You know what yeah. I mean, and the, man, yeah. the nomination category is pretty stiff this year, man. Yeah, yeah. for sure. <laughs> like some good albums, some you know, what I mean, good artists. Yeah, couple of legends in the music. Uh, protege who you know I've I've been Family. in this industry with yeah, yeah shout brother. out protege yeah of course cafe the new sensation who took the world by storm a yeah. couple of years ago and yeah it's a good look it's a good look for Jamaica you know a lot of people were had mixed feelings about soldier winning last yeah. year yeah you know and, um, and how do yeah. you feel about that now that we how you yeah, say that I mean for me. I don't I don't necessarily take it as negatively as everybody else I think I feel yeah. like the Grammy is a U.S. award. Yeah. So if a band from the U.S. who put in work for many years, you know, and also, I think that was a very strategic album they did too. You know, they yeah. featured all the top acts. Mm -hmm. Real sneaky. From, yeah, Real. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, but it's unity. Yes, it's unity, absolutely. And I'm sure they all galvanized around it. Yeah. And, and you know, put in their votes or whatever, got everybody to vote. And that's, you know, we could take a page out of that book in terms of just unifying around it yeah. and taking it serious because, a lot of people feel like the Grammy is just a popularity thing. Or it's like if if you're doing good and you have a hype around you and your brand is doing yeah. well, then you should win the Grammy. Yeah. But no, it's about networking. It's about actually getting Grammy members to yes. vote. You know what I mean? So and It's not the public vote, like you said. It's yeah, Grammy it's members. Public vote, yeah, exactly. So, you know, people in the industry. So, you know, the ones that want to take it serious and, and do actual lobbying, you know, attend the Grammys and make people see the presence so that yeah. they can know that we take it seriously you know so yeah and how do you feel about um like linking with um i mean obviously we know you we know some collabs that you're doing already yeah, yeah, but yeah. as far as in that field that like like revolution and yeah such, yeah because yeah. yeah. you went on tour right with yeah, them yeah yeah, yeah. that was a great experience you know i got to see touring in the u.s on a different level yeah, yeah man you know I've they never, do it big I, yeah i've never toured like that before and because namdi i think yeah because right? namdi was yeah. on the tour too so it was like festivals every night. Yeah, yeah. And then they're bringing their own production <laughs> on the road and oh yeah, setting up yeah. their own sound system and everything. Yeah. stage from lighting, scratch. lighting. Trust. Yeah. yeah, you know, I remember J Bug went on tour with them. I think in 2015, and I really wasn't too familiar with them at the time. Yeah, yeah. So I was wondering, like, why? Because he, you know, he could do his own tour. So of like, why, why do you want to go on the road with them? He said, "Bro, they got a whole different, <laughs> a different thing. market. You yeah, know, that we yeah. can tap into that they don't know about us either. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So was that the strategy crazy. strategy for you to go on? tour with them to kind of open you up to new eyes yeah man definitely yeah. that's always you know? that's always the thing right yeah and i felt like it ended up having the effect of me evolving as a performer yeah right? you know because you're performing like 98 percent of the crowd not familiar with me yeah. yes you know so it's like you have to introduce your songs you have to tell your story you have to entertain people who don't know it's not like you have hits yeah that you just they just roll off the song <laughs> yeah. and everybody is like you're the you new artist the yeah. yeah yeah so and i think what's 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 cool is that you you know you come from jamaica yeah. and you guys have a whole different um audience like, not only audience yeah. but like Sound. degree of performing yeah you yeah, know? yeah. It's, a, it's a different type of performance yeah in, in a sense you know i love i love revolution show you know yeah. it's well put together and eric is a great singer and it's well constructed and everything. The lighting, the sound yeah. is incredible. It's all in sync. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Oh, my show is a more freestyle kind of vibe. Yeah. It's an energy thing, mixing, mm -hmm. jumping up and down, that yeah. kind of thing, yeah. you know? But we, you know, everybody at tour, I tour with Damien, and his, his show is more, a bit more structured than mine. Yeah. So I learned to put in elements of certain, you know, structure from his tour. Yeah. You know, I toured with Anthony B in Europe. And his thing was all about fitness and energy yeah. and arrangement of songs. So I learned that 
You know what I mean? Like all the jumping and stuff mm-hmm. I do, I learned that from Anthony B. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's just different things. And then Revolution now, when I toured with them, I started to think about how, how I'm writing my songs. Yeah. You know, it's not the that, structure of yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. The, the the melodies, the arrangement of actual songwriting, and then band arrangement too. Yeah. yeah, you know, it's very important because for me, I can't. You know, my music, I can't really depend on just the Jamaican diaspora yeah. alone. I have to sing for everybody. Yeah, you know, because I'm not singing the type of stuff that the typical Jamaican listener nowadays, yeah. like younger, my my age and below, is, is interested in. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So my music is more universal. So I have to find ways that I can make my music even more appealing to the person who doesn't really know so much about Jamaican culture yeah. Yeah. or whatever. You know? so, so speaking of which, you got the new album, The Calling, which is the Grammy-nominated yeah. album. Yes, sir. Um, which is dope, by the yeah. way. Give thanks. And, um, <laughs> give thanks. Give thanks. Yeah, man. Um, and and it's produced by none other than Gangzilla. Yeah, Danny every Jr. song, Marley. Yeah. Every song. You know. So how's that working with him, man? I mean, I know you guys are close. You know, yeah, Bridget yeah. already. Well, but there gotta be one song that you like. Yeah, I don't know if I want this one, Gang. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> or do you just kind of gotta take it and be like, oh, I gotta do it? Yeah, so, you know? yeah. Tell us how that. Situation how does that process go mean, about? Yeah. So you know, it's similar where I had songs that I you know I love, but they didn't end up making the cut because you yeah. know i love all of my songs yeah but then there's there's levels to it you know what i mean mm-hmm. and it's just sometimes it's about the the flow of the album yeah. to the track listing and the running order and and if a song feels right like so we had a couple of sessions just rearranging the order yeah you know and we thought about cutting one and two songs and stuff but it's always a, a reasoning it's never anybody dictating yeah. to anybody it's always a collective decision yeah. I seen a video you had posted. It was, uh, I think maybe it was like a birthday yeah. video, but it was a lot of you guys in the studio. Yeah, and man, man. It, it looked like some good vibes yeah, and energy. Always. In there, you know? That's that's like every night. Yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> Basically. You know, and where was just, that mostly done in Jamaica? No, it's in Miami. Oh, okay. Um, Damien Studio down in Miami. So, you know, it's just, you know, with sometimes, like on Contraband, I did a couple recordings at Tough Gang. Yeah. yeah. And um, like, I have a home set up too in South Florida sometime. One and two. Or like vocals are recorded at home too but for the most part everything in the studio all the mixing all the you know the air, everything so i gotta ask you man um your project you did the kabaka verse pyramid yeah where you totally went straight this dude was <laughs> yeah straight, straight hip-hop like if you didn't know it was him yeah i was like hold yeah. on kabaka's a hip-hop artist ain't he no yeah. so so you you definitely one of the more lyrical artists yes. in, in reggae. Yeah, yeah. Where does that come from as far as you, you know, like, did you study hip-hop? Or is it more influences? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's both studying influences. You know, in 96, that's when we got cable TV in Jamaica. Yeah. And we started watching BT, MTV, mm-hmm. and it's just hip-hop. You know, yeah. hip-hop was a big thing. And obviously you had, like, Beanie Man and some artists who would cross over, too. And that was a big thing for me, like, when Elephant Man them cross over. Mm-hmm. But... You know, just generally speaking, I just gravitated towards hip hop and the, yeah. lyri- the lyricists. Yeah. So I was a big Wu Tang fan. Still, am, oh yeah, you know man, I mean? big, and, huge. Yeah, and like you know, Black Thought, you know, Big Pun, Cannabis. Yeah. You know, Nas. Oh, Kabaka then, going back. He going in. Yeah, man. <laughs> like Busta Rhyme, the real lyricists. I yes. used to love just the man them. Word I wasn't playing. so big on like the the, the hit songs are the. Yeah. yeah. You know the catchy chorus is all about the lines, like yeah, the, yeah. The, you know what I mean, the bars, the punchlines. That, yeah. that was it for me. So, you know, and and that's kind of, you know, starting out as an artist, I didn't really know like how to use my voice. So, yeah. so mm-hmm. you know, the singing thing was difficult for me. So it was easier to just try and rap. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. So, if you listen to my early music from like t- 2002 to like 2010. I would I would probably sound more confident and more complete as an yeah. artist doing hip hop than yeah. even reggae, you yeah. know. And and it's not until 2010, 2011 I started coming into my own. I started really knowing how I'm going to use my voice yeah. to be a reggae artist because it, it, being in Jamaica, reggae is the avenue. There's no hip hop avenues. Yeah. So it's like I was just doing it because I love it. Yeah. You know, there was nobody. There was like one DJ still, ZJ Rush. I have to big him up because he actually played. One and two of my hip hop songs on radio. Bro, there was <laughs> one that you did with Chronics that was, it was like, you weren't really rapping, but it was over a hip hop beat. Oh, it was you know like um, Lyrical Anomaly. Yeah, that yeah, one is dope, yeah, man. Yeah. Like, so that, you know, as, a, as you say, like, I have a lot of stuff over hip hop beats too. And even when 
um, you know, Equinox flipped the oh no no sample and we did um, King Kabaka. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm spitting the spec, tacular lyrical, bringing back original style so vile. Them will arrest me as a criminal. You know, it's like hip hop kind of vibes. Yeah, yeah. it's vibe. But that's with the hard accent. So yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't consider that rapping because when I rap, I really rap. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like yeah, like straight. I sound like, like yeah, I come from New yeah. York. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. yeah. I mean? That's a trip to me, man. Yeah, it's a different vibe, but it's an art form. You know? But I think that's why you and Damien is such a solid link because yeah, he comes yeah. from that same school of thought exactly. of like oh do the lyricism. whole thing with the distant project and all that yeah. as well with yeah, Nas I mean, as well like to me Damien's always been one of the coldest lyricists yeah you know? but even if you listen like Pimpers Paradise with Black Thought Damien rapping on that yeah yeah you know what I mean and Stephen Marley have some song where I'm rapping too mm -hmm. and even know? Stephen's production you know yeah, a lot yeah. of it is like that hip hop fusion yeah vibe. yeah that's the blueprint. It's just, it's just a natural like road to Zion them beats that yeah. is what inspire me yeah yeah. You know do you I mean? see yourself collabing with a hip hop artist going forward like that you you know have grown up listening to well I did I did the same project with Kabaka vs Pyramid yeah I did a collab with Raekwon through Walter yeah. Fire I didn't link with him like physically yeah. personally on it but you know that's out there I did a, a song with a rapper from LA named Armin he's, he's Armenian yeah you know, but one of the sickest rappers I know and and he got Method Man on that song too. So oh wow, you know I saw a collab with a yeah. couple of my Wu <laughs> So so you know that where yeah, I was I mean, going with it is is are we gonna get more of the rapping in Kabaka, or the pyramid, I guess, I or mean, are you comfortable in this space you are now? So so what what I'm exploring right now is if you listen to the album and you listen like energy, yeah. you hear like some hip hop styles in it. You know one and the two and the three and the four. It's the K to the P where the people adore. When me <laughs> up in another session, I just love it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So more uh, mix up a little bit more and then like contraband part two. Yeah. You know, eleven years in the game and still a chop it. Just pick the topic. My yeah. philosophic with the skill, my dropping. Me used to tour and never seen no profit. No, my fill and pack it anywhere my go. Scammer. See, that's so crazy. Come on, go, go, like, go yeah. from like you know, what I mean? like <laughs> it's, it's just crazy to me, bro. Because yeah, you know, you obviously when you rap, it's like a different. Yeah, you know, sound, yeah. and then you just instantly flow into like a more like patois, yeah, I guess. Man, you know? yeah. So that was tricky for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had a, a there was a, a rapper in my in my crew named TMO or T that, and he could just go smooth in between DJing mm -hmm. Jamaican style and rapping, but I could never do that. Yeah. yeah, that's why for me it was like two identities. Yeah, I you mean know, even it, when Buster does tries to do it, you know, yeah, like, yeah. It's you like, can it, hear it. Yeah. Still, yeah, you can hear it, you know. But it's, it's a thing when you can go seamlessly yeah. back and forth between the two. And I'm kind of just getting the hang of that now. All right, yeah. all right. So, you know yeah, I, mean? I guess, so, yeah, I guess, so yeah, you're still a are. student of the game yeah, now that you're still in the game. Learning, yeah, always learning. There's always improving to do. But, yeah, I definitely want to do some more hip-hop oriented stuff. And we also yeah. see that you collab with a few Polynesian artists with yeah, Common Kings, Analea Brown. Tell yeah, us how yep. that came about. So, oh, yeah, we heard the Common Kings oh, one. Oh, man, we way. heard the Common yeah. Kings one. Sheesh. Yeah, man. So them link up through Young Poe. Yeah. They do some work with Young mm -hmm. Poe. Um, gang former Keezy, co-producer. And, um, you know, I booked them up when I did um, Reggae Rise Up in Maryland. Yeah. And we got to, you know, run out on the stage with them. So that was a vibe. Um, still waiting on that album to come out. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, They're looking too. forward to yeah. it. Analia Brown, was, it was really nice working where she reached out with a track. Um, that she wanted me on and I drop a verse on it. We shot the video, you know. I that just played it on the radio, over yeah, there. on nice. Jamar Radio. Yeah. Really, yeah. that song, if I hear it even playing in Jamaica, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 it's nice. I think it's playlisted on one of the the hit stations there. You this know? guy actually got a feature on the Comic Kings album. I'm actually on the Comic Kings album as well. So uh, me and Kabaka <laughs> Pyramid are on the new Comic Kings album coming soon. Yes, That's neither here nor there. Yes, yeah, you're doing like some hype man, like some fat man. Yeah, I did a fat man scoop. There. But nah. still, I get my credit because yeah, we get... Of course. <laughs> but that's why I like working with, with these artists based in the US and Polynesia and stuff. Yeah. Like everything is done properly and the business part is, is cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like that and... and yeah, it's good to do. It's good to do things the right way. Yeah, and you know I think I mean? the crossover because the Polynesian community has yeah. been a huge fan of reggae going forward. So, and I, with the artists that we have now, with J. Bug, Common Kings, Analea yep. Brown, they're starting to cross promote and try to get tracks with you guys. Definitely. And it's just sounding so beautiful. Yeah, for sure. Cause, so, because the Polynesian artists, they have the sound. Yeah, more than the the white reggae bands. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah no knock to to, to any yeah, of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, like when I hear the Polynesian bands I play, I'm like, yo, this this sound like. Sound yeah. like it come from yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like the groove is there. Must the be some wind, the weather, there. man. You know the island, yeah, it's a tropical <laughs> island weather. Thing. Yeah, it's a tropical <laughs> thing. You know, so yeah, big up for sure. What's next for Kabaka Pyramid? 
So we just shot the video for Faded Away with Bujo on the album. So we're still pushing the album. Yeah. You know, the Grammy's coming up. Um, right around February. the corner, man. Was it like a month out? Yeah, month well, two? yeah, two months. Yeah. So we're looking forward to that. Um, now we got we got to talk about the uh, the song with our little bro Jamiri, man. Come uh, on, Jamir Morgan. Oh, uh, with two of them. Yes. You know, we did Energy and Grateful. You know, doing really well. Even doing it on tour, like doing Grateful on tour, has been crazy. Yeah. Like the people know the song already, and it just feels like an epic song. Yeah, man, that's you know a big song. good and vibe. So even like the um the concept of that, because yeah. when you first hear it. That's not how it. And then when the beat switch, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yo, it was so, challenging. So Damien right produced that? that. Yeah, my gang produced every song. Wow. So you know what I mean? That was, I was there Dylan. when he was like arranging up the sample, and I was like, yo, you know, I'm playing all of these cuts of the sample with like major cars, and then he played this one cut on the MPC, and I was like, yo, that one's so mad. And it was like a minor card, and it kind of had this dark vibe. I was like, yo, just put that at the end of the, at the end of the chorus. Mm -hmm. Nice. And like him flip it and put that at the end of the chorus, and he was like. Why would we don't just continue with this vibe for the verse? And then those minor cars became that kind of dark vibe in the verses. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so I, I, I took a while to actually write that. You know, I wrote, I took that home and just zoned in in my own zone, like, and just went off lyrically. Yeah. You know, and it was actually one long verse because that's how it was originally arranged. But then it was like, yo, this too lyrical. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's, it's, too it yeah, it's, it's too much form. Yeah, it's too much form. Yeah. You know, like, lyricists would love it, but. You know, I actually love the, f the original version yeah. because it was like the rhyme just went up and up and yeah. up to the. Yeah. I like that. I like it when it's it doesn't have to be a sixteen or you know yeah, what I'm saying like because exactly. back in you know back all the hip hop artists you talking about sometimes yeah. they would just go yeah, just go up and just go with it. Yeah, like, Kappa yeah. on a verse in Winter Wars was like probably fifty bars or just some random <laughs> number. Yep. you know what I mean. It's like yeah, oh yeah. But, but um, you know what? I just we was gonna tell you before we get up out of here. Now that you are Grammy nominated, the plus side to that is that the price went up. So now, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't. I was talking to your manager earlier. I said, like, you know, the price done went up. <laughs> so with yeah, that man. said, man, we appreciate your time, Kabaka Pyramid. And you know, when yeah, we do man. air this, we want to say it's gonna be the winning Grammy nominated artist, ah, <laughs> Grammy winning artist, Kabaka Pyramid, man. Thanks, man. Yeah, appreciate man. Thank you, Kabaka, man. Thank you, Respect, man. Kabaka Pyramid. Welcome to Jam Rock Cruise, your boy, Big Body Cisco, Westafa, Western Conference Podcast. Yeah, man.